Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So in uh, this uh, lecture, I'm going to start working on the routers. And the first thing that we need to do is to just set IP addressing. So I know that uh, this is somehow boring for people to just see how I'm going to put the IP addresses. So what I'm going to do, I will just show you on one router how to set up the IP addresses, because I assume that you already know that. And then I will do everything offline. Then uh, afterward, when I set all the IP addresses, then I come back uh, recording this video and I will just issue a ping between the routers to see that uh, the routers are able to see each other on the IP addresses that we have set. So let's go directly and uh, start uh, with the, the points and uh, start putting the IP addresses on the routers. Point number one, set IP addresses on each router as per the graph. So that's what we have to do. I will put the picture here and then let's go directly to the command line. And uh, for now, what I'm going to do, maybe um, let me show you here. So this is what we need to do. We have to put the IP addresses as on the graph, like uh, this is on gigabit Ethernet uh, interface 002 and it is 002 as well. We put the IP 192.168.254 and it is dot one over here. There is over here should be um, .254 and so forth. So I'm not going to do everything in front of you here because it's the same thing and it's boring to just watch a video for 20 minutes just putting IP address. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to uh, router two and router three because those are the routers where I going, I'm going to do the distribution. So meaning that I'm going to put the prefixes that I have received normally from uh, uh, organizations like RIPE uh, here in Europe. So I should put here the prefixes, uh, publish them. So I'm going to use over here 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 and 22, 22, 22, 22. And then I'm going to make here uh, on those interfaces uh, the IP address. And then over here, I'm also going to show you how you can put uh, the prefixes on a loopback interface. So I'm going to use a loopback interface to put the prefixes on. And later we have to uh, announce them on BGP. We're going to do that later. So I'm going to work on router 2 and uh, router 3 actually, and then just put IP address over here. And then afterward, I will go offline and put all those IP addresses that you can see here. And then I will come back to online with you on the video. And then I'm going to make just the ping to see if every router is able to see every other router. So let's go directly to router 2 and I will start making the IP addresses on the router 2. So I will go to router 2 and I'm leaving here for you the picture. Uh, you see that uh, uh, on top of my uh, head, then you can uh, directly see what are the IP addresses that I'm putting on, on which interface. So we go to router 2 now and on router 2, I have to go uh, to the uh, interface, which is gigabit 0 over 0 over 3. So over here, we have to go to uh, edit interface gigabit 0 over 0 over 3. And then we say unit 0, family inet. And then I will say set address. And then the address, as you see on the picture, 192.168.23.2 slash 24. So this is on the physical interface. And then I'm going to create uh, the interfaces uh, uh, which are going to be uh, where I'm going to put the prefixes. And I'm going to use the prefix 2222 and 22.22.22.22.22 22 .22 .22 on the router tool. So where should normally I should do that? I would do it on the loopback interface. Normally you have to do it on a physical interface if you want to give the IP addresses to your customers. So um, I will go here, say top, and then the loopback interface we're going to use, which is uh, we're going to say edit interfaces and then uh, loopback zero, unit zero, family inet. And I'm going to set here the address 2.2.2.2 .2 and I'm going to make it slash, let's do it slash 32. So it's just uh, the whole IP. And then uh, 22, 22, 22, 22. Of course, if you have a range of a subnet, you have to put your subnet over there. So it's, it's slash 24. What you have, you just put slash 24. But uh, because this is a lab, so I'm going to use the uh, only this IP as uh, the uh, IP that is going to be as a prefix. Uh, I'm going to announce it later. All right. So let's say show here. And we have those addresses now where you can use this command. I like it, which is commit 
check so to check if everything is fine then if you want to commit so configuration check succeeded then i will say commit and quit so this is router 2 and now we go to router 3 we do the same we have to put the ip on the physical interface first so i will go to edit interface and then the uh, interface is again gigabit Ethernet 0 over 0 over 3 unit 0 family inet and then set address 192.168.23.3 slash 24 then we say show it's there and now we have to go to top and then edit interface loop back 0 unit 0 family inet and then i'm gonna put the addresses set address 3.3.3.3 slash 32 and then set address 33.33.33.33 slash 32 and then show very good now uh, we say commit and quit excellent and now if we say show interfaces thirds so we gonna see on the uh, gigabit zero over zero over three this is the ip showing up and on the loopback those two ips are showing up very good let's issue ping to 192.168.23.2 to see if they can see each other so they can see each other without any problem so now with this uh, you know how to put ip addresses i will stop the video now i'll put ip addresses on all other routers and then i will come back and then i will issue the ping to see if they can see each other Port number one is done and i have uh, set all ip addresses on uh, the uh, routers as on uh, the graph now we have to issue ping between routers to check if there, there is reachability. So we are going to make ping between all the routers just to check if there is reachability because if we don't have reachability then our scenario will not work. So let's go directly and start uh, from the upstream. I will do ping to the ISP one. So you can uh, look to the IPs on uh, the picture so you can see what I'm doing. So ping to 192.168.254.254. It is working. So this is from the upstream. Now we go from ISP1 and then we ping down to router 1. So uh, we have to go one level back and then we have to say ping to 192.168.11.1. It is working. Now uh, we go to router 1 and then we ping to router 2. Ping to 192.168.12.2. It is working. We are on router 2 now and we ping to router 3 which is 192.168.23.3. It is working. Now we go to router 3 and then we ping to router 4 192.168.34.4. It is working and now we go to router 4 and on router 4 we ping to the ISP2, which is 192.168.42.253. It is working. And then finally, we have to ping from ISP2 to the upstream. Ping to 192.168.253.1. So we first, we, we have to write it uh, not from this level. So we can go to run and then we have write again ping to 192.168.253.1. And it is working. So this way we know that uh, all the routers now can ping to each other. And then over here now we can start building the BGP or SPF and do all the work that we have to do. Point number two is done. And uh, with this point, I have showed you how you can set the IP addresses on the uh, uh, Juniper routers. So it's straightforward. And then we have uh, checked for the reachability using the ping command. And we have seen that everything is working fine. So that is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you. And I will see you in the upcoming lecture.